Hey guys, it's good to have you back. And this is going to be a quick video about uh, open file limit on your Zabbix server machine, the server where the Zabbix server is running. And this might become an even more thing with the release of the Zabbix 7.0 if you do upgrade to the Zabbix 7.0, basically because of the threading. So it is possible that eventually during your normal or not so normal operation of the Zabbix. In the log file, you will see the following message for a discovery process with five workers. And by the way, it could be like any other, it could be also the parlor or whatever else. Um, the user limit of 1024, so 1024 file descriptors is insufficient. And as a result, the maximum number of concurrent checks per worker has been reduced to 122. And uh, it's it's not good. Like it, it's not terrible. In this case, your Zabbix server, like it, it continued to works, but uh, not in the most optimal way. And uh, it's a very easy fix how to do that. And first of all, like I have two pages, like here the Initmax uh, wiki, where I just found this and decided to make a video about it, is a way how you can check uh, what is your open files limit on the Zabbix server process itself, and then increase it for the Zabbix server process only. But I will show you like also much, uh, a much shorter way how you can just bluntly increase the system wide limit of the open files on all your server, all your Linux machine. And First of all, I have like Alma Linux 9 here um, ready for me. So uh, you can check the limit of the open files by typing sysctlfs dot file minus max. And you will see this is the default open files limit on the Alma Linux, which means that most likely it's going to be the same on the CentOS stream, Oracle Linux, Rocky Linux, and uh, all other like uh, forks or, or call them whatever you want from the Red Hat, uh, which might be not sufficient, especially for the big installations of the Zabbix. So what are the file descriptors at all? Like what does the message even mean? This message indicates that the current file descriptor limit for the user, in this case, the user under which we are running the Zabbix server or the proxy, the same problem might be on both, is set to 1024. And this limit is just insufficient for the number of operations that Zabbix performs forms leading to an automatic reduction in the maximum number of concurrent checks per worker. So in practice, this means that the system cannot operate enough files on or network connections simultaneously limiting the efficiency and the performance of the Zabbix processing the data, which is not good. What are file descriptors? Do they have anything to do like with a Zabbix as a such? Is that a Zabbix specific thing? Absolutely not. It's uh, Linux specific thing and the file descriptors are identifiers used by the operating system to access files and network resources where the, each process in the system has its own limit of the file descriptors which restricts the number of files or sockets that can be opened simultaneously. Why to increase the limit? Obviously to give ability to your Zabbix to work on the full capacity and uh, give you the maximal performance. So step to increase the file descriptor limit. If you want to do that only for the Zabbix server or the Zabbix proxy. So first of all, you are just uh, checking what is the current limit. Uh, if you don't have anything, uh, anything uh, configured separately, then most likely it's also going to be the uh, 1024. So the first value is a soft limit and the second value is the hard limit. Uh, we need to increase the soft limit from 1024 to 10,000. So what we're doing, we're creating the override configuration for the Zabbix server service, setting the permission for this file to be actually accessible creating override configuration. So in this case, like you don't need to worry about uh, anything, you just copy paste all the commands and you will get the result. Uh, setting the permissions again for that to be accessible and verifying the configuration, like activating the changes with this small command, verifying the service status and uh, yeah, restart the Zabbix server and the changes should be already applied and with the same first command, like you can verify that. If you want to do that system wide, bluntly, uh, without, uh, without affecting only one service, but affecting absolutely everything that you have. It's not uh, 
two bad thing like not like this is a very right and this is a very wrong but uh, this is easier but less clean so to increase the system-wide limit of the open files on your linux server what you need to do is just copy paste this command or just type it over in your cli the system ctl minus w fs dot file minus max and the value that you actually want to use and i will set it to ten thousands there we go, uh, setting applied. And right now we can verify again with the systemctlfs.filemax. And we can see that the previous value was 1024 and the new value is 10,000. But that's not it. We still need to edit the systemctl config file, which is located in the etsy uh, sysctl.conf, uh, which is basically an empty file. And uh, if you actually follow like the recommendations and you read what's written above, you should create a separate config file for this. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to do this again, uh, right here. And uh, here we need to specify the same parameter that we used um, in, in the command itself and just change the value from 100,000 to 10,000. Uh, right quit and systemctl minus p uh sys sorry sys ctl minus p and system ctl daemon reload like this one and that's it like this is the way how you increased the open files on your linux system so you can do this either this way or follow this blog and hopefully after the small fix you will not see these warning messages in the Zabbix server or the proxy file log file anymore and the performance of your Zabbix will become much better. Thanks for watching. See you later.